we're going to be adding Realm to our Android Kotlin project. The first thing we need to do is add Realm as a dependency. I already did this, but I will go through the steps of how you would add the dependencies to your project. The first thing you do is search on Google Realm Java Latest. You'll get this page and you'll start all the way at the top, but go down to Java and then installation. You'll see step one is to add the class path to our project build and also to apply the plugin. The first thing we do is we are adding the plugin, the, the class path I mean, so right here. And then we're applying the plugin within our app right here, um, Gradle. Next thing is we need to enable syncing. So sync enable true. And that's right down here. I just put it right down there. And that's it. That's all we need to get started with that. And the first thing that I do is in is in my, my main activity, I put realm.init this right at the beginning because that initializes realm. I make sure to do that right after set content view. You can do that before, but I do that after. Just so the user sees a layout first without waiting for this to happen. Now with Realm, it's no SQL. What that means is you don't have to use any SQL. So with regular databases like SQLite, you have a, a language called SQL, which you have to create queries and you have to create stuff with the SQL. With Realm, it's no SQL, so we just create a class, and when we do like set name or set age on a class, it will change that within our database. No SQL required. You don't have to use it. And first thing we're going to create our one class called person. We're going to create this as an open class, mainly because an open class makes it so it's extendable by other classes. It makes realm able to configure it and look and see it as well person and realm object this is what makes it a realm object so it's able to go into the that um into the the database and we want a construct actually we're not going to put a constructor we're going to put in first a primary key i always put a primary key with every single object within realm that's just what I do. You can do things different, but I like having a primary key. And we just put a ID of I put long. And also a name. And a age. And we're done with that. Actually, we need to put in the at realm class require we're required to do that now with this realm class we need to have a primary um empty constructor that's the requirements we need a empty constructor that's why i created one over there now the first thing we need to create our config this configs the entire database for everything. We can do so many things, but we're just going to name it. We're just going to name our realm database. And it's going to put it as person.realm. It's going to build it. Now we're going to create our realm variable, which will allow us to insert updates, anything we want. In this video, we're just creating the database and inserting. And now we want the realm dot get instance. We don't want to do get default instance because we won't be able to do our config, but we want the get instance and just put in config. Now we're going to insert our person. First thing we do is whenever we insert, we need to do realm dot begin transaction. And now we're going to create everything so realm dots create object and we have two create objects so we have one with just a class one with a primary key value 
You have to use a primary key value if you have a primary key inside of your class, so we're going to do that one. Create your class first and then our primary key value, which we'll put as just one. And this creates our person variable. This does not insert into the database yet. We insert to the database when we do commits transaction. So before that, we want to customize this person. So we'll put the name as Ted and the age to 72. And now at this line here, it'll insert. And now we have a person in our class called Ted and a age of 72. And that's it. That's all we have to do.